aboard the Sunray 62. This is the finest yacht the Catamaran Company represents. When we climb aboard, you'll notice that each step has LED courtesy lighting, welcoming you to this wonderful yacht. Beautiful tea cockpits. Here we're looking in one of the engine rooms. These engine rooms are massive and contain both water maker and uh, other service items. There's the big Yanmar 125 horse engines and the fully rigged out technical space. The starboard side has the air conditioning, the port side has the generator. In this boat, it may be different in your boat because these are semi custom It's over 200 square feet of shaded, protected, comfortable living space. There's storage here and here, and under all these seats you'll find storage. Here's the outside wet bar with ice maker and the stairs to the galley. This owner selected this table. You might choose a different table for yourself. Beautiful cabin doors, which do lock both open and close. In the salon, which is uh, 225 square feet, woods of your choice, uh, you see electric blinds all around operate by remote control. Large table, which can fold and twist to be smaller when you need more foot space, wine coolers, and um, the chart table area, which does have inside steering, throttles, radar, etc. Beautiful uh, TV, widescreen sound, and uh, separate DVD systems so that you can listen to one music outside, watch a movie inside, and each cabin has their own DVD setup. Let's look at the chart table, the interior control station, a little more closely. It's very nice that we have a, a wine cellar here, but we have a really comfortable seat. We have the electronic engine controls. Here you see controllers for some of the electrical functions, the uh, battery monitor and the two uh, inverter chargers and the generator start. Here's the sailing instruments. This little display shows which lights are on outside. So when you turn on the running lights, you know that they're working. Here's the VHF, and it happens to have a printer also. And here's the uh, gauges that show all the tanks. We not only have fuel tanks and water tanks, but we have gray water tanks that catch all the, uh, the sink drains from both the galley and the heads. And black water, which uh, take the effluent from the heads. Each of these tanks is about 125 gallons. Here we have the nice gas oven, full-size dishwasher, uh, the uh, electric microwave convention oven, double sinks, fridge, freezer, and more food storage. Behind these, there's your spices and condiments section, and you know, the tools of the chef's tray. We also have a trash compactor and four drawers on like velvet touch slides. Moving down into the porthole, understanding that these boats are semi-custom, this boat happens to have three cabins on this side. And all, what we have is the standard forward cabin with its large flat screen on the wall. All cabins have their own uh, vanities and uh, DVD players, their own air conditioning controls, and plenty of storage everywhere. The cabin, notice these doors, while massive, are very lightweight because they're cord and uh, with a veneer. The crew cabin, which was the optional thing specified by this owner, even it has uh, very nice quality. Because this owner, although the boat will be in charter, he has quite a few children and he uses the boat himself. So we made a setup where uh, you can put three kids in this cabin. That's typical of the type of custom alterations that Sun Reef is happy to make. 
once again, this boat has its own flat screen, its own DVD player, its own little vanity area, and it's very open throughout. I like these quality blind hinges. There's storage all through here. This one happens to be linen locker. Master cabin is a little more open. And there's also has its own flat screen, air conditioning, three overhead hatches in this one cabin, and a much larger vanity than the uh, other side because it's the master. The master head is also quite spacious with a separate shower forward and uh, all electric, of course. Here we are on the fly bridge, a commanding view of the harbor. This boat has a Genoa and a Solent jib. He prefers spinnakers, so at the end of the bowsprit where there would normally be a chenaker, we don't see that fitting. You could have it any way you want. We're talking about a carbon mast and carbon boom, which also cradles the sail. With the helm forward, just behind it is a relaxation area, uh, the upper cockpit or, or re dining table, and sunbathing cushions all around, protected by the standard bimini. Have a seat where you can either sit and enjoy the conversation, or turn around and face the job in hand. Control of this wonderful job. Wheel is light as a feather. A compass and electronic engine. Nice rigging feature is these sheets are led tight inboard so the boat can perform well to weather. However, when you're off the wind, these sheets, we have secondary Genoa sheets which lead to the same winch and come out down below so there are no lines on deck. All sailing controls by heart. Right? I think you can. Okay, try to get it. controls down below. Okay, thank you. This was that other Genoa sheet which leads to the blocks for uh, when you're sailing farther off the wind and you want a wider lead. Notice that the decks are flat and there's no lines on the deck. And no uh, rolling up twist your ankle. Huge tramps, which on this yacht are Kevlar. Railings around the boat are 30 inch height. They're not going to trip you and uh, cause you to go overboard. Instead, they're safe. Furler lines go under the deck and come out of the cockpit. Ah, here's the other crew cabin. It's a double with a huge amount of storage underneath and uh, has sun hatches, lights tied into the main ship's air conditioning system and is quite comfortable. So this boat has accommodations for four crew, the two inside and the two outside. We like the way the dinghy davits are incorporated into the back of the bimini and electrically controlled with a wireless remote. You see the end of the dinghy uh, lift uh, line. You can snap your dinghy on, push the button, and it winds right up tight to the back. Well clear of seas and maybe light fingers in the islands and and uh, easy to use. And it, it's, when you deploy it, it's far enough behind the boat to just drop down very easily.